children welcome back to writing class in the last class we had discussed the if function in liver office calc okay do you remember it in using this function we can categorize the given condition into two groups that is warm climate and cool climate okay now suppose we want to set the messages like this that is if the temperature is less than 20 degrees celsius we have to display cool climate then between 20 degrees celsius and 30 degrees celsius moderate climate and if the temperature is above 30 degrees celsius we have to display hot climate okay let's see how can we apply that for that we are using another function named lookup function okay first we have to type all these conditions in a new sheet but we have to be careful that is we have to give the lower limit only while typing the condition okay let's see zero cool climate do we type zero here because our first condition is temperature less than 20 and the lower limit must be 0, 0 to 20, okay. Then 20 moderate climate because the temperature is between 20 and 30, lower limit is 20. Now 30 hot climate. Our condition is temperature greater than 30, we must type hot climate. So here the lower limit is 30, clear. Now select this sheet that is contact only then go to data menu define range option okay here we can give the name for our new sheet i am giving the name climate okay don't forget this name then take our old sheet from here sheet one then select the cell where we wish to get the result okay then go to function wizard and type lookup here okay select the lookup function click next button in the search criterion we have to give f2 that is the first cell of the daily mean temperature rounded okay then in the search vector we have to type the name of our new sheet that is climate there is no need of typing anything in the result vector click on ok see the answer appears like this ok we can use the fill handle tool to fill the data look we got three messages at the same time ok hot climate moderate climate and cool climate ok all these are displayed according to our condition clear now suppose we want to display the details of the places having mean temperature 25 okay we know that it is difficult to find all these places from this long list here we can use another option in LibreOffice calc so our next activity is filtering the data from a long list do you know what is filtering that is displaying the data we need from a long list okay for that select any one heading then go to data menu auto filter option we can see arrows at all these headings okay then Click on the arrow near the daily mean temperature rounded. Here, first we remove all the tick marks from the list. Okay. Then give the tick mark to 25 only. Then click on OK button. See, our list is shrinked. Okay. We can see the details of places having mean temperature 25 degrees Celsius only. Children, see. This is the shortcut tool for auto filter option. If we give a click in this option, we can move to our original sheet. Okay. Do you understand the method? 
we can do the same that is the auto filter option can be used in another way also suppose we want to display the places having temperature less than 20 degrees celsius let's see it in another way here there is no need of selecting any heading just go to data menu more filters standard filter here we can see a new window select the field here okay daily mean temperature rounded is a field then condition less than 20 okay from the list given we can take the appropriate value okay or we can type here click on ok see we can see all the places having temperature less than 20 degree celsius our next activity protecting our file we can protect our files from unnecessary editing by using protect sheet option for that first open the sheet that we want to protect then go to tools menu protect sheet option here we can see a new window type a suitable password here then in the confirm column you have to type the password once again then click on ok button now try to edit the file we can't edit the file right we will get a message protected set cannot be modified okay now let's see how we can export this file file menu export as pdf then submit format must be pdf click on export option here we can give the name temperature okay our file is saved in the desktop open it see this is the pdf format of our calc file clear okay children this chapter is over thank you for watching